There once was a man born of a royal lineage. Though royal by birth, his life was without glory nor prestige. A boy left alone in the world, fighting and bleeding for survival. The bravest sword on the cruel battlefield, this crimson-haired warrior. the weight of his lineage to fulfill his bloodline's obligation. He who fights against his destiny through the power within him. Motivated by the past. Driven by bloody memories. I've been looking all over for you. Where were you? You're late. You must hurry to the training ground. Uh-oh. So Buford looks a bit upset. We should hurry before he becomes even angry. Late yet again. I thought I once told you that time is as precious as gold. I have no choice but to report to the Duke if your tardiness continues. Since you are late, we'll begin training immediately. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Today, we will proceed with combat training. You'll learn how to use the sword against that scarecrow. Go and swing your blade. shown impeccable form. I can tell you put much work into it. There's more to wielding a sword than just swinging it. A lot more to it, in fact. Never forget that all knights make their oath with that sword. You decide your fate upon the blade and bear the weight of your pledge. Now, sheath your sword and come to me. You are the direct descendant of the great hero, King Depardieu's eldest son, Archduke Lowen. You are in the line of succession to inherit House Decker, as well as the throne. That is why you must keep training. The status of a monarch isn't just given, it must also be earned. Do you understand? Now, next will... Ah! What? Ah! Young Master, wait here. One of you, guard the Young Master. Everyone else, to battle positions. What is this? There's Deckard's young master! Get him! Young master, run! <coughs> we must move quickly! Join the fight! Go now! My child, you're safe. Praise the gods. Forgive me. My lack of foresight almost cost your life. No, Sir Buford. It's fine. He's safe, and that's what matters. You must get away from here. This place is dangerous, my lord. Sir Buford, that isn't possible. Don't you understand? This must all be part of that tyrant's plan. Deckard Six is obsessed with the throne. 
He's imprisoning or killing all those with the right to secession. This won't end unless I die. I do not fear death. But this child, my innocent son, Sir Buford, I beg you, please protect my son. But, my lord... Please, Sir Buford, protect my child. I understand. By my own blood, I swear to protect him. My child, I love you. You must survive, no matter the cost. Time is running out. You must leave, Sir Buford. <sighs> Go now, and keep close to Sir Buford. I love you. We're taking a hidden passage. Just a little further now. I will make a path. Follow me. I am Buford, the Red Wolf. the entrance. Quick, open the door. We must get away from the mansion. I'll stop them. I'll follow soon. Go now. Like your parents said, you must survive. Isn't the old toothless red wolf? Where's Deckard's son? Well, it doesn't matter. I can drag him back here anytime I want. Today, I'm finally going to taste the blood of the red wolf. Come, come! You won't get past me! The world was a merciless place for a boy left kinless, thus defenseless. Pursued by foes, days of fear ensued. And hunger followed him like a shadow. All he had for enduring the brutal winter was his warm breath on frozen hands. Amid such agony, however, was the loyalty and love of the Elder Knight, Buford. With Buford's devotion and care, the boy grew into a man who forged his own destiny with a sword. Now, that adversity crosses his path again, for he shall conquer them all. I'm relieved to see you unscathed. I was pleased to hear that you did well at the Red Knight's bugbear raid, but you know I would never have approved of this excursion. I can see that these fetters are frustrating you. Come to think of it, it's already been a decade since we hid away on this remote island to escape our pursuers. Very well then, if you can manage to become an official knight, I'll be able to rest at ease even if I give you free reign. Still, you must keep in mind that with freedom comes responsibility. Go visit Sir Valton. 
He can explain the appointment ceremony. We Red Knights have protected the Talking Isle for generations as proud royal knights. We have always upheld this duty, even through hard, dark times. When Prince Depardieu sought refuge here, for instance, or when Capricus was resurrected. It would have been an honor to appoint you as one of us. Unfortunately, we will have to postpone. Recently, the number of missing has grown at an alarming rate. Those on the search mission have also gone missing, including the head of the appointment ceremony. So, for now, I'd like you to join us on another search mission to find our men. Elisa, I will leave you in charge of this mission. The two of you can work together. I'm Elisa. Let's cut to the chase as we don't have much time. We'll investigate the North Island first, since that was where the members were last headed. Let's stock up on what we need first. This is a green potion. Running out of green potions is a major inconvenience. Don't forget to buy them in advance from the general. Come to think of it, I've heard your name before. You're famous for your audacious red hair. I also heard you can be quite reckless. Either way, I don't really care as long as you do your job. Just as you can't hide the sky with your hand alone, the same can be said about the truth. Ah, if it isn't the bugbear, Beheader. You've grown well, just like your red hair would suggest. Redheads have a way of overcoming hardships and paving a path of their own. Just like the wise King Deckern II, who overthrew the fall. Grandpa, stop saying weird things like that. Have you seen the missing knight? Hmm. Perhaps the island's whispers lured them into darkness. Many people disappeared 130 years ago, too. Back when the waters around the Talking Isle were called the Bloody Sea. Half of everyone alive on the Talking Isle disappeared. What happened to the rest, you ask? They all died, of course. Do you know why? It was because of the High Demon Capricus's resurrection. Legend has it that a demon lay dormant under the earth. We should just go. When Grandpa Alfred starts with one of his stories, he never stops talking. You know teleport magic, right? We should teleport to the North Island. Something's not right. I'm sure the North Island was never this dark. What on earth? There aren't supposed to be any undead on the North Island. I'm saved! Please, take- Not so fast! Aren't you from the Red Knight's Supply Division? What is going on here? Where did all these undead come from? Well, well, um, the- Here, use this instead. It'll be much more effective against the undead. Follow me. I know the way to the dungeon. My god, this blood and these corpses. It's the missing villagers. Wait, I see footprints. Let's follow them. 
There was some truth in Boris's words. The dungeon door is already open. I've been here before when I took the Red Knight's entry test. I'll take the lead. Follow me in. This place looks just as I remember. Its atmosphere, however, is different now. This is the place Grandpa Alfred told us about. We'd better be careful. Please. Take this magic doll. Don't let anyone know that I gave you one. Broken magic dolls are supposed to be returned to the magician's lab. But, well, I wasn't planning on giving you this. But since the red... Magic dolls have many functions. Hmm, let's check how many of them still work. Thankfully, the hunt support function is still working. It's what matters most. This is cursed residue, occasionally left behind from monsters. You can get a deeper understanding of their true nature by studying their residue. Leaving it like this could be dangerous. We should take it back to the priestess as soon as we return to the village. The potion supply function is working, too. Great. These two functions are enough to be of help. I hope we can fix it later. Then we'll be able to use a lot more features. Now, let's head downwards. This seems to be a very old book. Let's take a look. Finally, he has answered our call. We shall- Did you hear that? This way! Quickly! Please stop! Why are you- Did you see them? They're the missing villagers! What? Why would they hurt Selina? I don't understand what's going on. One thing's for certain. We have to save her! These cursed undead! Something isn't right! Normally there'd never be this many! We have to hurry! I'm worried sick about Selina. Wait. The dungeon is supposed to be off-limits from the second floor. Let's use some protective magic before we head in-
head of a goat and body of a human. It's the high de- You have walked into- Guilt eats away at your soul. What in the world? Where have all those people come from? The dungeon's second floor is supposed to be off limits. These people aren't normal. They've lost their minds. We have to go deeper inside. We can't waste any more time here. We're getting closer to her voice. That way. Save me. Please. Please spare me. Stop. Selena, please hang on a little longer. <sighs> Selena, they're going to hurt Selena. No. <sighs> I'll go free Selena. You go stop them. You have to be careful. They're all insane. Those people, they've gone mad from the demon's whispers. The missing people. Selena, it's all right. We're here to save you. You have to get out of here now. Take this escape scroll and go back to the village. Thank you, Alyssa. I'm so glad you're not hurt, and I'm so grateful. Please be careful. An oath sworn by water dries up and disappears. Did you hear that voice? Huh. The phrase sounds familiar. sword and red cape. Is that... Sir Reinhardt? Do you remember the grave that was dug up on our way here? Sir Reinhardt was the commander of the Red Knights. He fought the demon alongside the magicians of the Ivory Tower. He sacrificed himself to defeat Capricus. Uh -oh. Was buried here. It's for his Let's see what Sir Reinhardt has to say. Wait, that's... suspicious. Key? What key are they talking about? What are they doing there? I think they're trying to open that chest. There must be a contraption nearby that we can use to open the door. inside the chest. I didn't expect to see a Red Knight's emblem here. I can feel that it has magical energy. Try using the Red Knight's emblem. This was the key they were talking about. Let's take it with us. This door seems to have been sealed with magic, too. You 
shouldn't swear an oath with ink. There it is! Break the seal! Stop them! <laughs> The seal cannot be broken! You accursed followers of death! How dare you break the oath and attempt to resurrect the demon! Sir Reinhardt, please listen to me. I am a magician of the Red Knights. I recognize that emblem. You are indeed a Red- It's an honor to meet you. I am Alyssa of the Red Knights. Sir Reinhardt, may I ask what is going on down here? What are- Those zealots are trying to resurrect Capricus through their actions. I too have awoken. Capricus's minion is already taking steps to make the resurrection happen. His so this was the reason the undead appeared. I am already dead. I am bound by my oath and cannot... Do you know about the magic stones? My clan... It won't be complete without the magic circle of sealing. But we'll stand a chance. We'll help you. Leave it to us. <laughs> I admire your passion. And you, young one. You're... Red hair brings back fond memories. Judging by your attire, I see that you are aspiring to become a Red Knight too. Very well. As a former Red Knight's captain, I will give you a mission. I entrust my own heart to you. Collect the power of the magic stones in this heart with the pride of the Red Knights. The fate of the Talking Isle is in our hands. Let's return quickly to the village. You should check your stats sometimes. 